<laughs> oh, that hurts! Commercials. True Blue Tattoo in Austin, Texas is the latest recipient of a free local commercial from us and Microbuilt as part of our I Love Local Commercials series. When we arrived, Charles, the owner, showed us around. And how many artists do you have working here? Nine artists. You also have piercers. Yes. Those are different people? Three piercers. So you got quite a crew. Yeah. And None of them are here right now. What's up with that? Because someone decided we should be here at 10 in the morning. Yeah, isn't that like prime time for getting a <laughs> tattoo or a piercing? <laughs> yeah. I don't think you make those kind of decisions at 10 a.m. No, you make those at 1 a.m. Uh, that's how it works. I mean, people come in here and they're like, uh, yeah, I'm looking for a, uh, a skull. Boom. I'm looking for a, a tiger that has been, has its head stabbed. Boom. I'm looking for a carp. Boom. I'm looking for a half panther, half woman. Well, I think that's a man. It's a man panther. Manther. <laughs> As with all of our commercials, we began by getting the lay of the land. But for this project, we kind of felt the need to go a step further. We were gonna be working with people with tattoos, getting them to say things about tattoos. But we don't have any tattoos. No tattoos, no credibility. So the issue really wasn't, should we get a tattoo? It was just, where should we get a tattoo? I heard on the buttocks is uh, extremely painful, you know? It, uh, one of the more painful areas. Well, I mean, think about it. You, you know, if somebody pinches on the butt, it hurts. Or if, you get, you. if you get pinched on the arm or the shoulder or whatever, it's not so bad. But on the butt, it hurts. This guy doesn't even have any on his butt. He's like, I know, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm working up towards it. Yeah, okay, so butt tattoos are painful, but we'll get back to that later. We got a commercial to shoot. Now, most of our commercials are purposely bad, a parody of local commercials. But we wanted to change it up for this one. Just to get it out of our system, we wanted to make one that actually might be good. But of course, it still had to be a little off. Why don't you just check yourself into prison? Our angle for the commercial would be reverse psychology. We get people with tattoos and piercings to warn people about getting tattoos and piercings. A lower back tattoo is just a gateway to a neck tattoo. Thus appealing to the rebel in all of us and making people want to get tattoos and piercings. Everyone was extremely cooperative. Just say it like you like you mean it to somebody. Like when you're 80, that demon is gonna look, you know, I just- I never say the to somebody. <laughs> The same tone of voice that you just had with that, that's what you need with this. I don't even know what that tone of voice was. It was natural. Well, it's because I wasn't <laughs> repeating a lot. <laughs> yeah, you weren't acting. But okay, you, you just channel it. This is, what, this is what De Niro does. In about a decade, you'll come to an important financial crossroad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now for, for us, for you to deliver a line or two, what kind of tattoos you got? What are you particularly proud of here. Yeah. I mean, they go all the way to my chest and everything connects to my chest. Uh, we need to put you in a tank top. You got a tank top? Would you do that? I don't know. Being able to pass a Polish sausage through your earlobe is not necessarily a sign of intelligence. Being able to pass a Polish sausage through your earlobe is not necessarily a sign of intelligence. So far, so good. It was going well, but what about our tattoos? If we were gonna go under the needle, we might as well make it the perfect gift for our wives. We would permanently mark ourselves as theirs. But where? Every time I picture it, I feel it on the right cheek. This feels awkward, I don't even, I don't even know how to do that in one motion, but this, I, I feel like I could do that in one motion. But I feel like you shouldn't. I feel, I feel like I should go with the right cheek as well. Well, the thing is, we're gonna be on a plane together, sitting next to each other. We need to be leaning the same way as in relief. Can we do a countdown or something? Like, start at 200. Where's the Novocaine? There is Novocaine involved, right? Help! Ready? Yeah. How does it feel? It, it's not pleasant. Oh. That's a good one. It hurts. Does it feel like like needles going into your tush? 
It feels like prison. This was a mistake. On a scale of one to ten, uh, ten being uh, like being disemboweled, <laughs> one being like a mosquito. This is like a three. Oh, really? So it's like a mosquito trying to disembowel you. <laughs> Myself. <laughs> I, I think I'm coming to grips with the pain at this point. Crossing my eyes and holding my mouth open like seems to help with the pain. Like, oh, I didn't think it would hurt that bad. Oh, nice. Yep, that's your name, and that's my butt. I love local commercials. Okay, we came, we saw, we got tattoos on our hind parts. And we made a commercial. That's right, we did that too. And now we're gonna wrap up our trip by attending a Screamo show. I think we're just gonna go back to the hotel. Thank you.